As my summer project with the 3M Young Scientist Challenge is wrapping up, I wanted to reflect a little on my journey. This journey actually started a couple years ago when I learned about a buildup in my local Indian River Lagoon of a substance called muck that was killing the lagoon's ecosystem. They are dredging the muck out of the lagoon to help it recover, but there is so much muck, over 5 million cubic yards. They were running out of places to put it. My idea was to use this muck as an aggregate in concrete and then use it to build roads, sidewalks, brick, and other items. I wanted to make my muckery the best it could possibly be by adding fibers to reinforce it. My 3M mentor, Sarah, connected me with other 3M scientists who are experts in the field, and together they were able to get me a variety of fibers to try. The fibers would not only improve the toughness of my muckery, but what was really cool was that some of these fibers came from other recycled materials, such as plastic water bottles and old shirts. So not only would muckery be getting rid of muck, it would also be helping the environment through recycling plastics and shoddy clothing. One unexpected direction that my project took me in this year is when my mentor Sarah encouraged me to look at the business aspects of my project. I started comparing the cost of muckery to traditional standard concrete. I learned that the simple ingredient, sand, is actually a $7 billion industry. Believe it or not, we're actually running out of sand to use in concrete. How can this be? There's tons of deserts. Desert sand is not ideal for concrete. The smoothness and fineness of the sand doesn't bond well with cement. However, the characteristics of this sand is very similar to the characteristics of muck. I'm hoping that my research with muckrete will actually be able to create a strong concrete using aggregates like the sand. I am so thankful for this amazing opportunity the 3M Young Scientist Challenge has given me, and I can't wait to see how the final event goes.